Welcome back here to Midday Kentucky. We are still joined by Alltech Lexington Brewing and Distilling Company. P is telling us all about their fabulous new beers and some oldies, but goodies. One of my favorites is down here. Can you start by <laughs> telling us what we have in the darker beers that we're sampling today? Absolutely. I love that you know what you're talking about. Well, I went on a tour <laughs> there, the tour. and, and I quite remember trying this one because it has coffee in it. Okay, so. but we'll stop with this one. <laughs> yes, yeah, so this is our flagship beer. This is Kentucky Bourbon Barrel Ale. Um, it is a uh, mix between an Irish red ale and an English pale ale. And then we age it in bourbon barrels uh, mm -hmm. again for six to eight weeks to really get all that bourbon flavor in there. Um, so it starts off life as a little bit hoppy, um, but really the malt takes bourbon over. Bourbon barrel. Yes, yeah, so the malt takes over in the bourbon barrel. The hop flavor kind of falls off, and it really finishes with a really nice sweetness. It smells like bourbon. bourbon. So you get that vanilla, the caramel flavors that, uh, yeah. that you really like in a good But uh, That's a dessert beer. Bourbon. Oh, absolutely. Wait Am I wrong? This one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, you're not it's wrong good. at all. Okay, I'm going to let wrong. you jump okay. over here. Absolutely. So this is our bourbon barrel coffee stout. Uh, your favorite, of course, is a uh, stout brewed with Haitian coffee uh, that Altec actually imports from our project in Haiti. Oh, it's a dark, I it looks oh, like an Irish so beer. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you. Huh? And we age it in bourbon barrels over more coffee. So oh, it yeah. really oh, brings yeah. that coffee forward. I, I wish I could get a, good. you should make candles of this. It smells so good. <laughs> Mmm. 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 Well, 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 I have to say to you, Pete, I like is that, that your one. This is yeah. delicious. While, while we marinate on well, this. Well, I could have it for breakfast. That's a sign of a good beer. It's a sign of a good beer. It does beer. have a little bit of caffeine in it, too. So. <laughs> oh, yeah. it does it'll, it'll, it'll pep you up a little bit. Oh, okay. oh, we should have this on Good Morning Kentucky. You can come on. Look and at you. <laughs> Uh, tell us about the conference that you have coming up. So the Alltech One Ideas Conference is a business conference that Alltech is hosting really across all spectrums of business. Of course, we're an uh, all-natural agriculture company, mm -hmm. um, and we're also a brewery. Um, but we've got bits and pieces uh, for everybody here in Lexington. So um, we're promoting right now the Kentucky One ticket. Um, it's $295 online, and you get to pick which track you want to go to for a day of the, of the conference. Um, so, of course, we've got our brewing and distilling session. Yeah. Um, we're hosting um, um, the master distiller of Woodford Reserve, oh, uh, nice. as well as uh, some other industry experts that know about trends, what's coming up, um, talking about a gymposium, uh, because gin is so hot over in Europe oh, right gin. now. Oh, gin. Gin, yes. I thought you said gym. I thought, why are we worrying <laughs> about fitness when we're having a drink? <laughs> but gin is really hot in Europe right now, and we're trying <clears throat> to talk about, is that going to Spill over to the U.S. Well, you know the Queen of, craft of England likes a little gin and tonic mm -hmm. before her afternoon finger sandwiches. Really? Oh. FYI. I did not know that. Yeah. Well, the craft beer industry is, <laughs> is really booming one. here in, in Kentucky. We've been mm -hmm. talking about that the la you know, last yeah. week or so. Why do you think craft beer is becoming so mainstream now and really popular? It's because there's so many flavors to try. Okay. Um, there's so many different unique ways to brew a beer and, and incorporate new flavors into it uh, that there's, there's never something, it never gets old. There's always something new to try, something okay. next, something different. And uh, I think that's what people like it, is the do variety. You, and I was, I was asking in break, Katie, that do you, uh, are you trying, are the craft, make, craft, craft beer makers trying to make this an economy within Kentucky? And like you're trying to build it up like the reputation has with Kentucky and bourbon. Absolutely. Uh, there's a local organization here that actually has a brewery trail, uh, just like the bourbon trail. Oh. And you can get a passport and go around and it's try. The, she knows this. It's oh, called yeah. the Brew Grass Trail. The Brew Grass Trail. Yeah, yeah, brew instead of bluegrass. I need to go on these things. <laughs> you need to come see us. Yeah, I'm going to. I'm going I to. I always invite you. I know, but I never really know what you're doing. And yours gets a bit weird. 